There's a feeling, there's a fire, there's a whisper preaching to the choir. Take the leaders and the liars, throw your fears on the funeral pyre. Keep on breathing, don't go under. Keep your ears to the ground, hear the thunder. When the earthquakes and the ground shakes, throw your caution to the wind when the storm breaks. Sure. Sam Ryder. Acoustic version of Tiny Riot live. I've watched it and I'm pretty sure it really is live because he laughs and speaks in between. Um, just a very cool version of this song. <laughs> Yes! I love him so much! Full voice, again connected, but much more breath flowing. You don't want a mic stand just hanging around. I keep me where the light is. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoy my content, hit the like button as well. So Sam Ryder, I discovered because of one of my singers, one of the singers that I work with, um, Ross. Thanks, Ross, for introducing me to, to uh, Sam Ryder. He said, oh, yeah, that part there, it feels like it sounds like Sam Ryder. I was like, who's Sam Ryder? My bad. I didn't know. I really should have, but I didn't. So, and then we watched this um, acoustic live version of Tiny Ride, and I was like, man, this guy's voice and his skill, right? The voice is one thing, the sound of the voice, right? But the skill is another thing. Some people have a beautiful voice, but they have no skill because skill is muscular. How well can you control the muscles? Do you understand how to place your voice in different parts of your range? for different kinds of sound, different kind of resonance in the vowels. How well do you energize all the sounds that you make, even your consonants? That's all skill. That's all stuff that takes time. Even if you're super naturally gifted, <clears throat> or naturally super gifted, you still have to develop skill. I was like, dude. Oh, and by the way, that beard. Oh my gosh. I have a beard. But this is not a beard. That is a beard. Um, so much hair. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yes, yeah, so I was just intrigued by the guy. So I thought, let me uh, share this live version with you. Possibly you know it very well. Or maybe you haven't heard it before. I just think this guy is a, is a great vocalist. Um, what I didn't check is whether he wrote the song. I'm pretty sure he did. If you know, leave a comment. Let us know. Um, I'll go and find out anyway. But yeah, um, I enjoy the way that he goes. So he does those throwaway end syllables. Yet, you can still hear it. You can still make out the word. So some people do those drop-offs, I call them, or throwaways of the last syllable in a, in a, in a sentence or a phrase. And then you can't hear what they're saying. You can't hear the word completely. So with him, the first time I listened to the song, I could hear all the words. Skill. That's what it is. Wow. I love how he plays with it. You know, that part there, just like coming and going of the sound. So he's got such good control of his whole system that produces a sound, including the breath, obviously, that he can just express the emotion that he wants to. He can just do it. 
Some people want to sing very emotionally. And you look at them while they're singing, you're like, wow, they look like they're in a lot of pain, <laughs> you know, emotional turmoil, whatever, depends on what the song is. But you don't feel it as the listener. And what I have found, and this is my opinion over the years, is if the sound is not good, then even if the performer feels very emotional while they sing, I don't feel that emotion as much. But if great technique, great quality sound, great control, if that is the foundation on which you express your emotion, and you as a singer-performer feel the emotion for reals, then your listener feels it. No question. So, I feel it with him. And he's able to express all these different kinds of... And then put a bit of a rock grunge on the, on the higher notes there. So interesting, he sings this in B minor, this acoustic version. And I just listened uh, a, a little while ago to the um, official version of the song, or the original version of the song, which is sort of pop. That's in C minor. So he chose to step this down a semitone for the acoustic version. Don't know why, because I'm pretty sure vocally he can either sing it in C minor or in B minor or in B flat minor or in C sharp minor because I just think his skill is so good. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he sings at he sings at high D five. So easy, such control, so emotive, so powerful. Very good. Take the music and learn to use it. Turn it up to your speakers, blow fuses Learn the rhythm and never lose it Keep on moving till you know what the truth is If butterflies can use their wings To turn the wind to hurricanes Then I can break the chains It takes a day to start a tiny rap Wow The high D5, he sings it with a half voice it's not falsetto. Remember, false in, in, everything high in a male in a male singing is not falsetto. Falsetto is when it is breathy. That is not breathy. So we call that sound connected. The two vocal folds are properly connected, so you get a clean sound, not a breathy sound. But he just is able to pull on it and with breath, right? So the, the way he controls the flow of his breath to make exactly the sound that he wants to make is so good. So good. I saw comments under this video, many, that said, I can't believe Sam Ryder is not way more famous than he is. Um, he saw, he's 35 years old, just turned 35 in June, from Britain, from the UK. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he had an interesting journey. Maybe he started late. I don't know. If you're a fan and you know some more about it, please let us know. I love reading your comments and, and finding out more. That's why I often do um, these analysis videos on singers that I've never heard of or never listened to before um, because I love to learn. So please let, let us know um, if you know about his journey. But yeah, he... He is so good that I can't believe that I didn't already know who he was and that he's not way more super starry. Um, and he just seems like such a cool guy. You'll see some fun elements of his personality coming through as well in the video. But yeah, vocally, top class. Very good. Stop being so goddamn quiet. Got a spark in your heart so strong. Push away our pain, turn the pouring rain to a tidal wave and ride it. Got something inside, don't hide it. Like dynamite, ignite it. Push away our pain, turn the pouring rain to the wave of a tiny ride. <laughs> Good God in my life. In the dark. There's a light You can find it if you try If you open up your eyes Ooh. Mm. 
Mm. If you're drifting cool. out to sea, you can just hold on to me and make it to the other side. Mm. Gosh, that is so good. So good. When people see, I, I say this often, if you've watched many of my videos, you, you might be tired of me, of hearing me say this, but, you know, it's always the high, loud, big, long notes that get people to cheer and go, yay. And then people who don't have a lot of knowledge will just say, oh, that is an awesome singer because of the high, long, loud notes. But my response to that is, well, let me hear them sing softly. Because think about it, high and loud is actually a very natural thing for our vocal folds and this whole area here. I always refer back to babies. I have four children and I was there when they were all born. And none of them, after they took their first breath, said, Wah. Right? Babies don't scream like that. They scream at a high pitch. Yeah? And little kids, when they play, it is high pitched and it is loud. So that is the most natural thing for the vocal folds to do, actually. So to sing softly is more unnatural as a physiological process because Soft singing means, even soft speaking, means very little breath is coming out. A lot of breath coming out quickly is volume. Very little breath. And to control your sound like he does, with so little breath, and still it is energized, meaning you can hear all the words. That is a sign of technique, of great vocal technique so good i love this bridge it's different um different melody totally and a different sequence of chords a little bit and just so interesting oh, love it and here comes i think the last chorus <laughs> it started tiny right stop being so goddamn quiet got a spark in your heart so strike what should we all be turn the bar and rain to a time I think it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool. Yeah. Um, wow. How unexpected is the ending of this acoustic live version? Actually, I haven't heard the ending of the official the pop version so i might go and listen to it i will go and listen to it it might also end jazzy but i don't think so <laughs> how cool is that piano accompaniment the person who plays for him really good obviously um, but how cool is the change in the end to just this unraveling and then he does these little jazzy riffs Ugh, no, I just think it is one of the best male vocals I've heard in a while. Really is. And a lovely voice to listen to. A great voice to listen to. Not lovely. Great voice. But what I really enjoy is the skill. And I love how physical he is while he sings. He just seems really comfortable with himself. He knows who he is and what he wants to do and how he does it. Apparently, he's also a producer. Plays the guitar, vocalist. Um, songwriter, performer, and a social media personality. So I should look him up a little bit. I really, really enjoyed it. That's what I think, like Russell Brand says. But that's only what I think. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Sorry, Russell. I just, I'm a fan. <laughs> Thank you for spending the time with me. Until next time, remember that your voice matters.
Wait. I know you want to skip. I know you want to leave. But don't. Just, just, just hang on. Just, just watch this quick. Because I have loved this song by Leonard Cohen so much for so many years, I decided to make a choir arrangement and teach it to my own choir, the Charisma Singers, and we produced a beautiful music video of this song. And I've seen your flag on a marble arch, but love is not a victory march. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. I would love it if you would go to my channel, my company's channel, Charisma Performing Arts. Click on the video, watch it, leave a comment, like the video, share it with other people. And please subscribe to the new Charisma Performing Arts channel.